Hi, now I am so excited today. This is a fabulous project we're about to do. Now, my name is Lynn, but I'm better known as Nana Lynn by all the children on my classes. I am a professional artist and a qualified teacher, and I've been teaching for many, many years. I'd like to make my content in my drawing classes as accessible as possible for all learners. And I would appreciate any feedback on how I can do that in the future. And if you would like auto-generated subtitles on this video, please go to the three dots in the corner and select captions. Okay. Anyway, let's get started on this fun drawing, shall we? See you in the studio. Bye-bye for now. Hello again, children. Nana Lynn here again. Now, today you're going to need white paper, pencil and rubber, and we're going to need some paints. Yes, we're doing painting today, but don't get those out now. We look at the paints and choose the colors you want to use later on when we get to that part. First of all, we need to draw this cute little dinosaur. So let's get started. Got your pencil and paper ready? Yeah, okay. So the first thing I want you to draw is two little bumps like this close to the top of your paper here we go one bump and another bump like an m shape really now we're going to draw out to the side of that his face here we go there we go funny old shape but there we are that's the kind of shape you want to draw can you do that? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Now we're going to draw some nice rounded teeth. This little dinosaur eats leaves. So let's give him some nice rounded teeth. He doesn't need sharp, scary teeth. There, that's good. Now the bottom part of his mouth, a little bit of a curve, just like that. There we go. He's looking good so far. Now we're going to start to draw his body. Take a line down like this, all the way down here. There we go. And another one from his chin. There we go, another one there. There we go. Take that one a bit further and a bit further around. There we go. I'm sure you're keeping up with me, but if not, you can always pause the video. And take this line in here for his back. Then come up, 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 up for his tail. There we go. Now on this bottom line, we're going to start to draw in his first leg. Now this leg is a poorly leg. He's got a poorly leg and he needs to wear a brace on this leg so that he can walk along. This less brace supports his leg. So we're going to draw that little brace in now. A little line, another little line, and a couple of little extra lines in down below and a couple of little lines to join those two lines. That's his brace and that supports his leg. Now his other little leg. There we go. That's his other leg. Now his tummy. Big bang curve here and his other leg is going to be just here. Yeah, they These big dinosaurs need big solid legs, don't they, so that they can walk because they're big and heavy. Now we bring that line up there. There we go. Now a line all the way up to the tip of his tail. There we go. And now we have to put that final leg in, this other leg behind. Both those other legs don't show up very much because they're behind, they're behind their first legs. Now eyes curve and another curve, another sort of circle. And we're gonna put circles inside those eyes as well to give him his pupils. There we go, circle and another little one circle and another little one there we go now let's give him a leaf hanging out of his mouth as if he's chewing on it because this dinosaur likes to eat leaves we draw a little line and a little wobbly line one side and a little, little wobbly line the other side and join them together and that's his leaf he's eating oh yummy yum now his nostrils two little curves and two little circles below that you've drawn these nostrils with me before there we go, he's all drawn in. So next thing to draw is the background. And let's put in a nice big tree. 
Now, if you've done all my other drawings, you've seen how I've done these trees before. One big curvy line, another line going in the opposite direction, and let's put a V shape in between those two lines. Here we go, there's a V shape there. That's the start of the tree. Next part, a line and another line joining up the tip. There we go. And another line, and a line joining up the tip. There we go, that's our tree. A line joining at the tip for all the branches. Let's do some the other side. Line, join up to the tip. There we go. And one more line, join up to the tip. That's our tree. Doesn't it look good? Next thing to do is um, some leaves on the tree, I think, don't you? So let's do some just like we did in his mouth. A line and wibbly lines each side. A line, a wibbly line one side, and a wibbly line the other side, and they join up at the tip. There, let's put more of these leaves on. You can put as many of these leaves on your tree as you want. Just pause your video and keep drawing lots of leaves. I probably won't put many on, but you can put on lots and lots if you want to, okay? So I'm just putting these few on. Another line, a wibbly line, and another wibbly line to join up, and that's our leaf. <laughs> He's gonna have lots of leaves to eat, isn't he? What a lucky dinosaur. Now let's put the line in behind for the land. There we go, all the way behind. Remember, don't put the line in front for the land in the background, that's in the background. It has to be behind the tree and behind him. Now let's draw in a volcano. Yes, we're putting another volcano. There's lots of volcanoes in dinosaur land. Let's put some smoke coming out of our volcano. There we go. He's coming on nice, this drawing now, isn't it? Well, actually, I think that drawing is now finished and I think we ought to start painting it. So I'm going to get some paints out and choose some nice colours and paint in my dinosaur and dinosaur land. You can choose any colours you want, but these are the colours I'm going to use. This is a metallic pink, a metallic bronze, metallic grey and a metallic green. Yeah, they're all metallic paints, but you don't need to use metallic paints. You can use anything you want. Anything you have at home is fine. So I'm gonna paint mine in now and I'm gonna have fun painting and with this little brush. I'm gonna start painting in the leaves and then I'm gonna paint all of the painting. Now, as I said, you can choose any colors you want. And don't forget you'll need a paintbrush that's got a nice point to it, otherwise it'd be difficult to paint these in nice and carefully. You want to keep well within the lines that you've drawn, don't you? So, Shall we give our dinosaur a name? I think he ought to have a name. All his friends have names, so he should have a name. What shall we call this dinosaur? Mm, I think I'm going to call him Pip. I think Pip's a good name. Now look, I'm painting in my tree trunk and branches with the bronze color, because it's very similar to brown, and it looks quite nice. On this occasion, guys, I am not going to be putting lots of shadow and shade into this painting. I'm just painting it flat. No lots of lights and shadows. And what I'm going to do after it's dry, I'm going to put on glitter glow to make it all shiny and cute. How about you doing the same? But of course, if you haven't got any glitter glue, don't worry about it. You don't have to do that. It's just for fun today. Painting for fun. And now I'm painting in this background volcano a nice metallic grey colour. Isn't that gorgeous? And all of the ground is going to be covered in green grassy colour with this lovely metallic green colour. Isn't that super? There we go. I washed off the brush and dried off the brush and I'm going to use the pink metallic colour for the background smoke coming out of the volcano and I think I will paint in my dinosaur with the pink metallic color as well. I think he'll look very cute. There, he's all colored in with that pink metallic color. Doesn't he look gorgeous? Right now, what about the sky? I didn't put any blue paint out for the sky so I'll find some nice light blue paint now and paint the sky a pale blue color. There we go, a nice pale blue. This blue isn't metallic, it's just a nice pale blue. And that will finish off the painting very nicely. Like I said, I'm not gonna put any shadows into this painting or any lights, it's all going to be just this flat color. 
but what I am going to do is outline everything with black felt tip pen first, like I like doing, when this paint is dry, of course, and then I'm going to put on glitter glue. Oh, I can't wait to do that. That's going to be fun. And there you go. The dinosaur Pip is all outlined and doesn't he look great? And so does the whole painting. Now, don't forget, you can pause your video and catch up with me anytime you want. And you don't have to outline yours if you don't want to. But now I'm going to use these glitter glues and start putting glitter glue on my painting. It's going to be fun when it's dry. It's going to be fun putting it on. I can't wait. I'm going to start right now. So this is the first one I'm going to put on. I'm going to put this silvery glitter on top of the metallic gray paint and it's going to look fabulous on top of this, I'm sure. And now I'm putting gold on top of the bronze tree trunks and tree branches. And now some green glitter on top of the green leaves. That makes them look really good, doesn't it? And I've got this red glitter glue and I'm going to put that on top of the pink metallic colour. Maybe I ought to put it on top of uh, Pip the dinosaur as well. Just scribble it in all over him like this. That's going to make him come to life with a bit of glitter as well, isn't it? Make him look really cute. I love glitter glues. Do you love glitter glues too? Don't they look fun? There, Pip's looking good. And now finally, some greeny glitter in the grass area. Just again, scribbled that into the grass area. And that painting is now finished and I'm very pleased. So I hope you enjoyed your class with me today and you are looking forward to the next class because I know I am. Now I'd like to ask you a big favor. Would you ask your adult to like my channel and share my channel so other children can enjoy it too and would you ask them to subscribe i would be very very grateful for the support anyway thank you again for joining my class and i hope to see you soon so bye bye for now bye bye from nana lynn <laughs> bye bye mm -hmm.